Hi y'all, I'm Allison, back once again to make my life as complicated as possible. I have part of my June TBR all set up with The Sims, if I'll link it over here. And I need to pick more books for the month because I am going to Camp Bailey. It's Susanathon time. This is a readathon that is hosted by Completely Melanie, Simply Kailani, and Reads Readers. Last year, I missed it. And I wanted to go to camp so bad, but it just didn't work out. This year, I am going to pack my bags and be sure and join in. Now, one thing that they're doing this year that I absolutely love, they are dividing their teams into little camps. And the camps are named from their dogs. So Melanie's is Einstein, Kehlani's is Bailey, and Reed has Chewy. Now being a pit bull mom like I am. My pets are Lily, the dog, Ellie, Joey, and Finley are the cats. So it only seems fitting that I go to Camp Bailey because it's, it's a theme. We got the Lee thing going. So we're, we're gonna join Kaylani and go to Camp Bailey. And I'm excited. So she's given us 10 prompts by using her TBR game, which is TBR Bingo. If you've never seen her channel, definitely go check it out. It's one of my favorites, even though I haven't been able to watch in a while. I will be getting back to catch up on her channel because she is so much fun and so bubbly. I just adore her. Anyway, her prompts are just up my alley. There's a lot of randomness to it. And we are starting with a bang. The first prompt is blindfolded. So I need to go get something, blindfold myself, and pick a book. I, I, I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going we're gonna to give it a shot and see what happens. By the way, I have something to show y'all. We got a new cat. This is Finley. We've had him for about a month now. And he is a little cuddle bug and a spitfire. So I'm sure you will see him in the future. Anyway, say hi to Finley. Our other cats do not like him. <laughs> I've been wanting to introduce him to y'all, but there just hasn't been a moment. And it seems like with this video being so pet centric, it was the perfect time. And maybe I'm still just a tiny bit. Okay. Cause I have no idea how this is going to work. I couldn't find a scarf scarf, but I've got this thick headband. So I'm going to put this over my eyes and be really stylish for y'all. Spin myself around and then pick a book. My room is still a disaster, but I cleared off my TBR shelf and I'm hoping to get this to where y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me see. We're gonna go for a walk around the room. I am way behind on my reading. I didn't pick up, I haven't picked up a book since like April 20th. It's Tuesday, May 30th. It's been, we're going on like six weeks. I am so far behind, it's not even funny. These are all books that I was supposed to have read and I haven't. Whether it be for a buzzword, um, completely Melanie's TBR knockout, or read your bookshelf in my May TBR. I didn't read anything. So this is what I'll be picking from for blindfolded. I set up that shelf like this morning and I did my Sims TBR. So I don't remember the order. I'm not worried about having an advantage of knowing what book is where. I, I have no clue. Had to get us a new angle. So I'm going to try this again because I think I blocked y'all's view. So this is probably the worst shelf to use, but I really don't want to tear everything apart to move it. So let me give this one more go. I'll put on my very fashionable headband here. Is this look going to be all the rage or what? Okay. So now I'm going to spin and I'm going to try and keep count so I can figure out where I'm going. Okay. So one, two, three. I'm seeing spots because the ring light. Whoa. Okay. Bookcases. Where are they? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not a book. I'm looking for the shelf I need to be on. I'm way over, aren't I? I hope y'all can see this. Okay, I think this is my shelf. This book. 
I found the right shelf. Whew. Not a flattering angle. <laughs> okay. A secret princess. Okay, I was going to read this no matter what, because I have a buddy read with Phoenix Rose. And this keeps getting pushed and pushed and pushed. So this is a perfect start. Let me fix the camera. Okay. <laughs> that was trickier than I thought. I was like, oh, no problem. You can, you know, just keep track as you count. And I figured I know exactly where I was facing. No, you, you easily lose it. Okay, so... Prompt number one, A Secret Princess. I have talked about this 50 million times. It's a Once Upon a Book Club. I have to do it as a buddy read. And I will vlog the experience. And it's going to happen this month. Come hell or high water. All right, let's move on. Okay, the next pick was a buddy read. And this actually works out really good for me. Because I am also supposed to read Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers by Jesse Q. Satanto, one of my all-time favorite authors. And this is a relatively new release. I'm supposed to buddy read it with Molly from A Story Graph. And I believe she's already read it. She's quick. And the comments are just waiting for me. So I'm really looking forward to getting into, into this cozy mystery. This is the same author as Dial A for Aunties. And her humor is just chef's kiss. I love it. Right up my alley. I am really looking forward to reading this one. So, perfect. And that actually is gonna get two of my buddy reads off of my list. Okay, so our third bingo drop was, oh, we gotta do a random color generator. I love these and I haven't gotten to do one in a while. So let's go to the computer and see what color I get. Okay, so we got pine green, which matches my shirt a little bit. It's green, rather. Okay, let me see what I can dig up. This might be a little tricky. I, I think we got it. I think this would be that pine green color. So, Agatha Chrissy, Miss Marple. This is the mirror cracked from side to side. And I think this is like book eight. Anybody happen to know where I put my reading glasses? No clue. I can't read it. <laughs> there is going to be a dead body and Mrs. Marple is going to solve the mystery. There. And it'll be in a small English village. That's my prediction. All right. I'm excited for this and it's not long, which is good. And I don't know if I mentioned there are 10 bingo spins for this TBR, but you have the option to, you can double up, triple up, quadruple as many as you want. So what I'm going to try to do is pick 10 unique books. If the month gets away from me, then I may go back and adjust and go, okay, this book fits, blah, blah, blah. Like if I do Secret Princess, that can fit both the Blindfold and the Buddy Read book. And I can see if there's any others. You, you get what I'm, what I'm putting down, right? I am going to aim for all 10, but it, it may shorten dramatically. Because uh, I want Camp Bailey to win and page count. We, we submit our total page count. So if I had to read 10 books. Page count should be pretty substantial. Okay, and if rambling, let's move on to our next prompt. Multiple POV. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love reading multiple points of view in a book. You know what? I'm just going to go with The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. I was supposed to read this in May for Jess Bennett, and I never picked it up. It does have dual POV. You go back and forth between the ex-boyfriend and our main girl, Addie. They end up taking a road trip together because there was a, a car breakdown or an accident and they're all going to a wedding in Scotland of a mutual friend and the couple had broken up in the past. So I guess the, the time in the car is going to be fraught with some drama and leftover emotions. All right, let's move on to the fifth bingo ball. Uh-oh, big book. Kaylani said that she considers a big book anything 500 pages and over. So, let me see if I can find a big boy. I, I can't. I think that says 528. I can't see. I can't see without my reading glasses. I think 528. And then there's a little glossary in the back. Part 4 of the Lockwood & Co. This is another one that was on my TBR months prior. 
and I never got to it and I'm dying to read it. I absolutely love this series and this is book four. So this will count as a big book, but it is deep into a series that I've been reading for a while. I know the characters quite well and the environment, so I would assume that'll make it a little bit of an easier read for me than diving into something new that's massive. Okay, that stack's getting quite tall. Okay, six spin, or yeah, six spin of the bingo ball, or the, the bingo cage, there's the word. Oh no, it's a free pick. Okay, normally you would be really excited about that, but that's, you know, those are kind of hard time with those because I want to read everything. And when I'm given too many options, I just give up and say, I, I, I don't know. And then I, 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 I just give up. Yeah. And I say, I'm not in the mood anymore. So let me see if I can just, I'm going to give a quick look and pick something because if I put any thought into it, I will agonize over the decision for I could easily take a couple of hours. I am not exaggerating. It is painful sometimes. Okay, I see one right off the bat. Another one that I didn't get to from an old TBR and I was quite excited for it. This is the Twisted Tales Part 2, City of Hooks and Scars. This is going to be the origin story of Captain Hook and the teenagers living in some kind of a urban setting. There's Ursula and Maleficent and what will soon become Captain Hook. And it's short and so good. So this is my free pick. Okay, so far I think I have a theme going. They're all books that I'll be on my wheel of shame now that I think about it, except for one. All right, let's find out what our seventh spin was. It's a five-star prediction. Okay, so... This is another one that could potentially, you know, just rack my brain. So I'm going to pick something that was a recent purchase that I'm excited about. I am really bad. And let me know if anybody else is like this. The more excited I am about something, the more I postpone doing it, reading it, using it. So I, I don't know if it's like that anticipation, that delayed gratification. I, I just... It's like, well, if I grab it now, then the excitement's over. Does anybody else do that? Because I'm terrible at it. I was just looking up at some books, and I was like, oh, I really want to read that, but I just bought it, so I shouldn't. What the hell? So I I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab the one that I was like, no, I should wait. And that is The Drift. I'm excited for this one. This is a thriller. And it's from the author of The Chalk Man. That concerns me a little bit because I know Leanne from Literary Diversions read it and I think it was The Chalk Man and was really disappointed in that. So I hope this isn't going to end up being a disappointment as well. I need my reading glasses. Okay, I found a different pair. I think these are the wrong strength, but at least I can see again. Oh, yes, I am super excited. Okay, I just remember... So three people risk everything for a chance of redemption in a book of catastrophe and survival at the end of the world. Hannah is evacuated from an secluded boarding school during a snowstorm and the car careens off the road and she's trapped with a handful of survivors. So they have to work together to escape from this wrecked car in a snowstorm. Then we have a second group, Meg, is on a cable car stranded high above the snowy mountains with five strangers and no memory of how she got there. And the temperatures are dropping fast and they are stuck up there. So they're going to have to work together to survive. And then we have Carter, who's gazing out a window at an isolated ski chalet and the power, the generator goes out and they are without power. Again, these people are all in this massive snowstorm so they're all in survival situations within the groups there's one person that's like a killer or it's going to be the end of everybody and you don't know which group of six the threat is within so you're reading all three of their stories 
waiting for that shoe to drop. And I'm so excited for this. Okay, so The Drift by CJ Tudor. If anybody's read this, and it actually turned out to be just disappointing, let me know so I can brace myself for it. But I'm so hyped. Okay, so let's move on to our next bingo number. And that, that is Gifted. Um, I actually have quite a few books that my family have given me. I'm going to go with Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I haven't read this one yet. And my daughter gave it to me for Christmas maybe year before last. I'm sure everybody's familiar with it. They are Grim Reapers. I think um, the only way people die, this is in the future, is if they are cold and our main character is being trained to be a Grim Reaper. So I'm going to finally read a Scythe. I know this is a much beloved book. Okay, that gets me a dystopian. I think I've got quite a good variety on there. I'll have to check that out. Okay, our next one is middle grade. I need something short and quick because that sack is getting quite big. And I know exactly what I want. This is The One False Note by Gordon Corman. Part two in the 39 Clues series. And I love this series. I've been trying to get this back on my list for quite a while. I read book one, I don't know how many months ago, but this will be a reread, so I'm not worried about losing my place in it. Nice and short. That'll work. Okay, I need to use a random number generator. I think what I'm going to do is generate a bookcase, then a shelf, and then a book number. So we're just going to count my the cases that are in here are plus my TBR cart, so that'll be nine is the number we'll start with, then we'll get a shelf, and then we'll get it down to the book. So let's go to the computer. Okay, I forgot to say, the cart is number nine. So I got number eight, we're starting over there, so four, five, six, seven, eight. See, so we are going to be going on the scary one, because we've got classics, mythology, Shakespeare and more classics and then I've got romance so hopefully we'll get a lower shelf but books would be one two three four five on the bottom is just references crossword dictionaries that kind of stuff okay that worked out good we got the fifth shelf of fifth shelf so I'm gonna go count the books from left to right skipping over ones I have already read and see how many we have to choose from we need out of 16 books. Okay, so we got book five. Okay, this is gonna be historical romance, and this is actually book two. The first one is Upstairs in My Mother's Room. The first book is A Somerset Abbey, and it's set in 1913, so this is World War I, and I believe they are in England, but it's a family of three well-to-do sisters, and it says for fans of Downton Abbey, and that, that's all I need to know. It's a historical romance, World War II, opulence um i think probably upstairs downstairs kind of setting and i love those so i will let you know more about the book after i read it these 10 are added to my tbr for june and this is an all i'll be reading of course i also have to pick books for reach a bookshelf tbr knockout buzzword so i think by the time i add up all of those books the bingo and my Sims, I think I'm at 21 books for the month, as well as backtracking because I never picked for May and I haven't read April's. And then some of them, I haven't even read March. It's crazy, but I kind of have a plan to hopefully help me get through those. Although it may be one of the worst ideas I've come up with. That's right. I, I've come up with another crazy idea when I already have a lot going on. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know if it'll be coming up next or soon-ish, but it is definitely in the works and I have made all of the components. Just got to put it together and find the time. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If anybody else is going to a summer camp, let me know if you're going to be at Camp Bailey and keep an eye out for us. I'm excited and Kailani, I'm super hyped to be joining your team. Although I feel really weird not being on Melanie's. I've always been on Melanie's, so I, I almost feel like a traitor. But I, I think Melanie will understand. We have the dog connection. Bailey, Lily, Ellie. It, it just screamed. This is where we belong. 
All right, y'all have a great one, and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.